While Volkswagen desperately tries to erase traces of its own past, Tesla seems to be two steps ahead, designing the future with the pen of simplicity. The Germans, now in 2026, are rushing to bring back the physical buttons they eliminated, hastily redesigning their interiors and pushing ID, everyone as salvation, all to try and win back the audience they lost in recent years. But Tesla? It's not trying to please the past. It understands the present like no one else. And the Model 2 is proof of that. A car that, at first glance, seems too simple. But just sit in the driver's seat to realize nothing is missing and nothing is superfluous. The Model 2 wasn't designed to impress with gigantic screens or futuristic controls that looked like they came from a Klingon spaceship. It was designed to do something much bolder, to be understood. The experience it offers is so clear that even someone who has never owned an electric car can use it as if it were an old friend. Instead of hiding controls in menus, it puts everything where your brain expects to find it. It seems like a small detail, but it changes everything, especially for those over 50 who don't want a PhD in technology just to turn on the air conditioning. Tesla understood that true luxury lies not in complicating things, but in simplifying them. While other brands clutter the dashboard with functions no one uses, the Model 2 delivers only what matters in the most direct way possible. This doesn't mean it's lacking in features. On the contrary, the difference is that it doesn't force anyone to adapt to it. It's the car that adapts to the driver. And that, in 2026, is more valuable than any vegan leather trim with a name like a Paris metro station. One interesting detail is that 20% of the storage and control areas inside the Model 2 are more accessible than in any previous Tesla. It seems like a small number, right? But when you see the cup, the cell phone, the wallet, the volume button, and the driving mode exactly where you'd want them to be, you understand what that number represents. It's as if the car was made by someone who actually lives in the real world, and not by engineers who park concepts on paper, but never in the supermarket. The key here is abandoning tech for tech's sake. You know that feeling when the car wants to show you how much smarter it is than you? The Model 2 doesn't have that. It doesn't want to humiliate you with gesture commands or force you to learn AI jargon. It just wants you to get in, drive, and feel good. And that, curiously, became a differentiator in 2026. In a world increasingly dominated by cold and confusing interfaces, Tesla decided to take a human step. And it wasn't by accident. It was a cold, calculated, and incredibly efficient strategy. By the way, you know that old story about electric cars having to look like tablets on wheels? Tesla tore that rule book up. The Model 2's layout is clean, organized, and familiar. And that was intentional. In recent research with drivers over 60, 65% said they prefer dashboards with a classic look, not video game interfaces. Tesla listened and applied it. The result? A car that pleases those who love technology but don't want to feel like an intern inside their own vehicle. A car that welcomes instead of intimidating. The curious thing is that this basic but premium approach isn't being seen as a step backward. Quite the opposite. It's being called empathetic luxury. And perhaps that's the best definition of the Model 2. It's a very high-end product but without arrogance. Nothing there screams ostentation. Everything screams utility. And that's what the 2026 market was begging for, even if it didn't know it until now. The difference is that Tesla listened before the others and acted. The curious thing is that, as the Model 2 reveals itself as an accessible and surprisingly refined car, it becomes evident that it wasn't made just for tech-savvy young people and enthusiasts. There's a specific group at the heart of the project that, until recently, was ignored by virtually the entire automotive industry, the elderly. By 2026, almost a third of drivers in the United States will be over 60, and Tesla saw something there that no other automaker saw so clearly. A gigantic opportunity, 
and an even greater responsibility. The first thing that catches the eye is the height of the doors. They have been adjusted with millimeter precision to allow effortless entry, even for those with mobility limitations. It may seem like a technical detail, but anyone who has ever watched a parent or grandparent trying to get into a low car knows exactly what this represents. And it's not just the entrance. The seats now have a 10-inch adjustment range, allowing you to easily find the perfect height and tilt. A relief for those with chronic pain, arthritis, or back problems. The Model 2 also includes small details that change the experience for older drivers. And those who are careful will notice this right away. For example, the grab handles next to the seats now have non-slip textures and are positioned based on ergonomic research, making it easier to get out of the car without requiring twisting. It seems Tesla designed the car after observing a real person trying to move and not after simulating a digital avatar in an augmented reality environment. But what's most striking, and this is something I'm even pleased to talk about, is how Tesla considered the relationship between seniors and the vehicle's controls. Instead of accelerating towards complexity, the Model 2 slows down. It respects the time and pace of the person behind the wheel. The senior mode on the dashboard is something unprecedented in the market. Larger icons, direct language, voice instructions at reduced speed, and soft colors that don't strain the eyes. It's almost as if the car is whispering, relax, I understand you. This attention to detail extends to the interior lighting. Tesla chose LED lights with a color temperature of 3000 Kelvin, a warmer, less harsh tone that doesn't tire the eyes during nighttime driving. Furthermore, when opening the door at night, a soft light illuminates at your feet, lighting the ground outside. It may seem luxurious, but the truth is that this drastically reduces the risk of tripping, something that still causes thousands of domestic accidents every year. The interior finish was also redesigned with the senior audience in mind. The synthetic materials chosen resist natural wear and tear for up to 60% longer, in addition to being easy to clean, which greatly appeals to the 75% of seniors who prefer to avoid vehicles that require laborious maintenance. Heat heats, and this is based on data, not assumptions. Tesla literally analyzed the consumption habits of older drivers to make these decisions. It's the kind of engineering that begins with emotions and ends with precision machining. Perhaps the most beautiful thing about all this is that the Model 2 doesn't treat the elderly as outdated, but as respected. The car isn't childish, it's valued. It offers solutions without seeming to say, you're too old for this. On the contrary, it says, you've seen a lot and you deserve the best that technology can offer without hindering you. And that, honestly, is rare to see in any segment, even more so in the automotive industry. While the world of electric cars seem to have entered a race to see who could cram the most screens onto the dashboard, Tesla decided to go the opposite way, and they hit the nail on the head. The Model 2 inaugurates a hybrid approach that seemed to have been forgotten by the industry, combining physical buttons with software intelligence, and this simple combination can be, for many drivers, the difference between control and confusion. After all, touching the right button at the right time can prevent an accident. And believe it or not, in 2026, this idea will be revolutionary again. It's no exaggeration. For years, manufacturers like Volkswagen insisted on transforming everything into digital controls. Even adjusting the air conditioning required navigating endless menus on the central screen. The result? An avalanche of complaints, mainly among older drivers. Tesla observed this firsthand and learned from it. The Model 2 arrives with real, visible, tactile buttons, positioned with surgical precision just centimeters from the steering wheel. The logic is simple. Critical functions cannot depend on Wi-Fi or wet fingers. These physical buttons are more than just nostalgic. They're survival tools. Measuring 1.2 to 2 inches wide, 
With their own illumination and different textures, they work even with gloves or wet hands. And the best part? They're not scattered like confetti across the dashboard. They're organized into strategic groups based on studies of optimal reach. The result? The driver doesn't need to take their eyes off the road to find the wiper control. They just reach out, and that's it. Instinctive, fast, safe. But don't think Tesla has abandoned artificial intelligence. Quite the contrary. The sophisticated part is still there. Over-the-air updates, customizable settings, voice automations, all of that still exists. Only now, the essentials also work without relying on digital systems. And that changes the game. In case of power failure, system crash, or screen freeze, the physical controls continue to function. It's like having a second layer of protection, something many people didn't even know they needed until they did. This decision was deeply influenced by studies with senior drivers. According to AARP data, more than half of them fear being trapped in a car with a locked screen and not knowing what to do. Tesla transformed this fear into engineering. Now, emergency lights, defroster, headlights, and air conditioning work with a direct click, regardless of connectivity. This reduces anxiety, increases confidence, and transforms the driving experience into something lighter, especially for those who didn't grow up using touchscreens. The Model 2 also allows for partial customization of the controls, but with a clever limitation. The main buttons don't change position, ensuring everything stays where it's always been. The secondary buttons, however, can be adjusted via software to suit the most tech-savvy users. It's a rare balance between tradition and modernity, between stability and innovation, between don't confuse me and let me explore. The kind of balance that, honestly, seems simple, but requires genius to achieve. And speaking of ingenuity, the cost of this hybrid innovation is minimal. About 75 RVDE is more per car, according to internal analyses. But the impact on the perception of quality and customer satisfaction is gigantic. We're talking about a 30% leap in the overall experience, simply with the return of a few well-positioned buttons. And while Volkswagen struggles to shake off its reputation for chaotic dashboards, Tesla is already reaping the rewards of a well-thought-out choice that seems small, but changes everything in practice. Talking about price these days has become an art. Everyone wants to sell something affordable, but when you add in taxes, subscriptions, maintenance, and that essential package that should be included, the bill explodes. Tesla decided to break this vicious cycle with the Model 2. In 2026, it will present not only an affordable electric car in terms of entry price, but also in terms of maintenance, operation, and upgrade costs. We're talking about something that, in the end, could cost less than $4,000 a year. That's right. In a scenario where inflation is still tight and fuel prices remain unpredictable, this is a real bargain in the automotive market. The secret begins with the ecosystem. Anyone who drives a Tesla knows that the car is just the gateway. The real value lies in the surrounding infrastructure. Software updates for just 15 a month, continuous efficiency improvements, some increasing range by 12% annually, and of course, the supercharger network. This last point is especially important. Compared to standard public charging stations, superchargers save up to 30% on costs per kilometer driven. This directly impacts your wallet. And this isn't just marketing talk. These are real numbers from a real fleet. Now imagine combining that cost effectiveness with 24-7 voice-based technical support that resolves 85% of problems remotely. That's music to the ears of anyone who doesn't want to go to a repair shop every time they update their firmware. And there's also the little discussed advantage, in-home maintenance. About 40% of elderly drivers have some kind of mobility impairment. With them in mind, Tesla offers an assistance service that comes to the customer's home. 
a model that no one else has had the courage or the infrastructure to adopt on a large scale. Another cherry on top, insurance. Because the Model 2 is packed with sensors, automation, and detailed driving histories, Tesla is able to negotiate insurance premiums well below average. Studies show that insurance savings can reach 25% for older profiles, precisely because of the technological reliability and reduced accident rates. In other words, besides being cheaper to maintain, the Model 2 also protects your wallet before you even leave the garage. And it's worth remembering that it's not just a matter of cutting costs. It's about creating value where others only see expenses. Tesla doesn't remove features. It makes those features more efficient. Constant updates keep the car always modern. Unlike vehicles that are born and die with the same system, the Model 2 evolves over time. And that's something that attracts even retirees who value stability and reliability but don't want to compromise on comfort and modernity. For those living on a fixed income, and in the US, that represents millions of retirees earning around $50,000 a year, the Model 2 offers something rare, financial predictability. By knowing exactly how much you'll spend each month on your car, without surprises at the mechanic or shocks at the gas station, you gain something much greater than just savings. You gain peace of mind. And that, let's face it, is worth more than any technology. The combination of low running costs, continuous updates, and human support makes the Model 2 a virtually irresistible offer. It doesn't just try to be the cheapest in its category. It tries to be, and succeeds, in being the best long-term investment. And that puts Tesla in a position that few automakers can achieve. It doesn't just sell a product. It sells a lighter, smarter, more predictable lifestyle. Even with all these financial and practical advantages, what is most impressive about the Model 2 is how it redefines the very concept of accessibility within the universe of electric cars. For years, the term accessible was used only as a synonym for cheap, but the Model 2 goes further. It translates accessibility as ease of use, adaptation to different profiles, and real inclusion. It's as if Tesla looked at the audience that the traditional market had been ignoring. The elderly, the less connected, the drivers who don't fit the young tech profile, and said, now it's your turn. One of the best examples of this is in the dashboard's visual system. The Model 2's screens boast 95% contrast and use 1.5-inch high fonts, making reading comfortable even in direct sunlight or at night. This might seem excessive to those with good vision, but for those who already need bifocals or deal with visual degeneration, it's the difference between being able to drive safely and not. Furthermore, the interface avoids visual clutter, focusing only on the essentials. And yes, this is also a form of care. Another interesting detail is how the controls are organized into intuitive blocks. The dashboard has defined zones for audio, climate control, and driving. This drastically reduces the driver's response time, especially when quick action is needed.